That's why I fuck with people who are down to earth, open people like we were talking about, like yeah. like Benny and all them. Yeah, like bro. he's Benny, so, so welcoming, you know. Yeah, bro. He's he, yo to be to be at the level, bro. Is you know what I mean? He, if he was that type of person, he could be a high and mighty asshole. You know what I'm saying? If you mm-hmm. if you really ask me, you know what I mean? He could be an asshole, bro. But he ain't like that. You know what I mean? If you if you come with a good purpose and you come with no malice in your heart. You know what I'm saying? He showed that love to you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's why I've been rocking with him for years now. You know what I mean? Like, it was love from from at the level, bro, is. You know what I mean? He, if he was that type of person, he could be a high and mighty asshole. You know what I'm saying? If you mm-hmm. if you really ask me. You know what I mean? He could be an asshole, bro. But he ain't like that. You know what I mean? If you if you come with a good purpose and you come with no malice in your heart, you know what I'm saying? He showed that love to you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's why I've been rocking with him for years now. You know what I mean? Like, it was love from from... From the beginning Yeah And I've been around for a lot of shit with him You know what I'm saying Like a lot of moments with him You know what I'm saying Yeah And um Like he always tell me He'd be like bro You could talk about any moment we've been around You could talk about it bro He'd be like People need to know You know what I'm saying Like Benny give me a lot of advice and shit You know what I'm saying He, he make I don't give a fuck if we in a club He'd pull me to the side And get in my head Yo Bro Da 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 Show me love. Told me the other day when I was out his video shoot with Styles P and shit. Shout out to Black Soprano too. Shout out to the whole family. Oh, um, with him and the, the, yeah, the was snow there. and all I was shit. There. Yeah. yeah, I was at the video. You I'm know so what mad I couldn't make it to yeah, New shit York. Yeah, was lit, but it was definitely slushy. That's why those sneakers are like that because I had those sneakers on. Oh, you were wearing those? Yeah, the oh, white Amir? Oh, yeah. I understand why you ain't wearing yeah. them again. So, um, you know what I mean? Like, bro, was like, yo, you just keep going up. Just keep going up. And that shit he said the other night when he was like, bro, you don't need no fucking change. He wasn't saying it to me. He was just saying it to the crowd, like, you don't need no fucking change. You don't need this. You don't need that. You know what I mean? Just stay on your path. I felt that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's hard, bro. You know what I mean? This this rap shit is real hard. So when you do get somebody that's in a great position and they motherfucking open you with, um, you know, open arms and shit like that. It's, it's a blessing, bro. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. And you're right. They don't need to be welcoming to anyone because they've they've proved themselves. They stuck with it long enough that right. they are the ones who made it out of that. Right. Put on a whole area, you know, but that's they are. And that's why. That's How'd you fact. meet them for the first time? Shit, bro. I met, man, I met Benny, man, in um, Allure in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? He was walking through the crowd. I just was having a conversation about him. I, I didn't know who he was, you know what I'm saying? But um, one of my homies, he he put me onto his music and shit. I'm like, bro, because I, when, I, when I first came home, I had paid a rapper for a feature and shit, right? And the rapper, he did some whole shit. And after that, I was like, bro, I ain't never paying none of these niggas for no raps. No, like, mm-hmm. no rapping, nigga. I'm, I'm not doing that. Like, like you, and, he, like you didn't send the verse back or something? No, just he was so. in the studio with me. Oh, but, but he, he just did some whole shit, yeah, and I yeah, didn't yeah. like it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was like, yo, after that, I ain't, I ain't thinking about even paying no rappers for no verse. So I ain't fucking with that. Um, time went on, years went by. You know what I'm saying? I still got a bit of taste in my mouth about this shit. My boy put me on a Benny and them. You feel me? I'm listening to them. I'm like, yo, I fuck with Benny, bro. He's going crazy, bro. He reminds me. Of a, a nigga in jail rapping, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like I said, I grew up in the joint, bro. You know what I mean? And I know I can hear that pain. I can hear, I I know what he's saying because I've been through that shit. You know what I'm saying? God is just good when it comes to me, bro. You know what I mean? Like he um, I ended up in a club. Maybe two weeks later, bro. Two three weeks later, I meet him. He takes my phone, gives me give me his number. We exchange numbers. Call me in two days later, we in the studio. We doing a feature, which is Tradition. That's the first song I ever did with Benny. You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow, yeah. Tradition, we did that. And um, like I said, when I first met him, obviously, you know what I'm saying? You're going to break bread if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Break bread with yeah. him and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we bonded over a bottle of Remy and just kicked it. You know what I'm saying? And just kicked it, went to the club. Next thing you know... Pandemic happened, so everybody stuck. So this is pre-pandemic. This is pre-pandemic. So the pandemic happens, everybody's stuck. Nobody's moving, but I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? I live in L.A. at the time, so I'm back and forth from L.A. to Atlanta to Boston. L.A., you know what I'm saying? So one day I was I was um, I was was um in Atlanta and shit, and bro see me like on my Instagram, like, yo, you out here? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm in Atlanta, whatever. He's like, nigga, pull up on me, blah, 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 blah. 
And it been it been history ever since. You know what I'm saying? We've been rocking ever since, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was in Houston when he got shot. All that shit. I was I was out there too. God damn. Yeah, bro. I was out there too, bro. It's crazy because if he would have picked me up from the airport, which he was gonna do, he wouldn't have got shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was gonna pick me up and shit. And um, I told him, man, don't even go out your way. You know what I mean? Just send me the addresses to where you gonna be at or whatever. He sends me two addresses, right? Mm -hmm. When he sends me the two addresses, I don't know which place is which. So, like, I literally just hung up from him two minutes ago. I call him back. I'm like, yo, which address is which? He's like, yo, I'm about to go to the wall. First, he said, I'm either going to the hotel or I'm going to go to the Walmart. But he sent me two addresses. So, I didn't know which was which. I call him. He said, yo, I'm on my way to the Walmart. I said, all right, cool. Gave the lady my ID to get out of the fucking, you know how you got to give your yeah, ID yeah. and then they open the thing. I gave the lady my ID. She opened the thing. I looked. There was two addresses. I went to call him to say, yo, which one is which? I called. He said, yo, yo, bro, I just got shot. I just got shot. Right? But when he said that shit at first, I ain't going to lie. I was like, is this nigga bugging? <laughs> like, oh, you think he's I fucking just, with you? I yeah. just fucking... Hung up the phone from you. Yeah, it wasn't five minutes. Your life seven. hasn't changed at all. My about life hasn't that, changed yeah. at all. All I did was give. So the lady you don't expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I did was give mm-hmm. her the, the ID. She lifted the thing up, gave me the contract back, lifted the thing up. When I went through the con, went through the thing, I fucking looked. There was two addresses. I call him. He's he's telling me he's shot. Right. I'm like, what? He hung up the phone. Then I called him again. He was like, Yo, bro, nigga, I just got shot. I'm on my way to hustle. I'm like, Nah, he's for real. So I was the first person to know that he got shot. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Besides the people that was there with him. Yeah. I was the first person. So I ended up calling Cruz, which is um City Boy and shit. Shout Mm -hmm. out to my nigga City Boy. Shout out City Boy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fucking um I called Cruz like, yo, then he just got shot, bro. He's like, What? Hung up for me. They driving for a minute and he called me back like, yo, yeah, he got shot, bro. Cause I ended up driving to the I didn't know which address I was going to. Yeah. I ended up at the Walmart. Oh shit, I so you go to the Walmart. Walmart. So that shit's yeah. taped up, mad police over there. I'm like, yo, this, what the fuck? I called Cruz. Cruz is like, yeah, bro, we on, we on our way to the hospital. Blah, blah, blah. To meet him. He's at, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. He tells me where he's at. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, me being a Boston nigga, I just do it the Boston way and then I meet them at the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you can take that for what you want to take it for. I meet him at the hospital and fucking. We just at the hospital bugging the fuck out because we can't believe this shit just happened. Type yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and um, when he came out the hospital, he came with me, got in the car with me and shit. And, and, and then they was on a private jet the next day getting up out of there. But it was like, that shit was whack, bro. I, I, like, that was some whack shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was some fuck. whack shit. It's whack because of how good of a dude the dude is. You know what I'm saying? I could see if he was an asshole or he mm-hmm. was, you know what I mean? Some niggas deserve that shit. I ain't gonna hold you, but. He ain't that type of person. He's a good person. So, 